Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to Paradox Interactive for sponsoring this video. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 18th of June up until the 24th and we'll also have a look at a couple of games that are already out that missed one of these videos in a previous week for whatever reason. I must say this looks pound for pound one of the best weeks of the year so far on the Switch with some very interesting games, so without further ado, what's coming out this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at the releases from the sponsor of today's video then, Paradox Interactive, and these are the Shadowrun games, Shadowrun Returns, Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut and Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. The unique cyberpunk meets fantasy world of Shadowrun has been realised in many forms since its inception in 1989 from a tabletop game to collectible card game to novels and of course in video games and these free turn based RPGs are finally releasing on consoles and will be hitting the Nintendo Switch this week. Shadowrun Returns is set in the year 2054 where magic has returned to the world awakening creatures of myth and legend. You are a shadow runner, a mercenary living on the fringes of society and getting the job done by any means necessary. There is tactical combat where every turn you take matters, skill based character progression, vibrant 3D character models set against hand drawn 2D environments and an updated UI to better suit its new console home. Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut is a standalone version of the Dragonfall campaign and it includes a host of new content and enhancements on that original game. Here a new threat is rising, one that has you caught on the wrong side of a deadly conspiracy. The only clue whispers of the Dragonfall, a great dragon waiting for the right moment to return. This CRPG adapted to consoles harkens back to the branching narrative style of the golden age of computer RPGs. You'll command your team of shadow runners, each with their own backstory and motivations, and again, you'll need to plan wisely in turn-based combat. And finally, you have Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition, which is the definitive version of this game as it adds a 6 plus hour bonus campaign on top of the Hong Kong story, whilst also adding audio commentary and further improvements such as updated dialogue and visual effects to that base game, which first released in 2015. Each game will cost you £17.99 or your regional equivalent, but you can purchase the Trilogy as one for a pre-launch discount price of £26.99, and this lasts up until the launch date, which is the 21st of June. Let's look at a couple of games that are already out, and the first is Neon White. This describes itself as a fast first-person action platformer set beyond the pearly gates of heaven. You play as Neon White, an assassin plucked from hell competing with other demon slayers for a shot at redemption. You collect soul cards to attack your foes or discard them to use unique movement abilities. It mentions that you can combine cards to discover massive shortcuts which will be needed to compete for the best times. We're hoping to have a review of this one, it could quite possibly be out by the time you are watching this, if so there will be a link to it in the top pinned comment. And the other game we'll mention for those that are already out is Amori. This is an RPG which released in 2020 after a Kickstarter campaign and sees you controlling a young boy named Sunny and his dream world alter ego Amori. The interactions you experience will depend on the choices you make and the turn based combat includes status effects depending on the emotion of your character. From what I've heard the game was critically acclaimed for how it dealt with some sensitive issues and it holds an incredibly high Metacritic score of 87 it will cost £22.49. Let's move on to the games coming out this week and we'll begin with a game that's become quite the phenomenon elsewhere and that's Fall Guys. It will feature cross-platform play and is a party royale game where you must compete on a number of absurd obstacle courses until just one lucky victor remains. It will be a free download when it releases on the 21st and it kicks off a pretty impressive week as we're about to see. There's more, Fall Guys is going free. Party up with your friends across the entire range of Fall Guys seasonal content. And for those of you who've been with us... Next is Wreckfest, which has been out since 2018 on Windows and has since released on other consoles in subsequent years. You'll need to upgrade and customise your car with reinforced bumpers, roll cages, side protectors and more ready for the next demolition derby. You can play online with friends or attempt challenges using a variety of vehicles such as crop harvesters, school buses and lawnmowers. 
As well as this, there is a career mode as you attempt to become the all-time Wreckfest champion. And from what I've heard, this game has been well received over the years, so it will be interesting to see how it plays on the Switch. It's another one that's out on the 21st. Then there's Fire Girl Hack and Splash Rescue DX. You take on the role of a young rescue officer who, armed with an axe and fire hose which can act as a jetpack, must respond to emergency calls, saving civilians and trying to find out what caused the city-wide blaze. You'll work through procedurally generated levels such as forests, hotels and trains with just a few minutes to save all civilians by dousing flames and chopping through obstacles. I've always found games with a firefighting setting fascinating. I remember there were a couple on the Super Nintendo, one of them which is actually on the Switch Online service and is called The Ignition Factor. The other I believe was called The Fireman. For this reason I'm pretty excited for this one, it's going to cost £14.99 or your regional equivalent and this is out on the 22nd. Next we have Redo, which is a non-linear action RPG set in a dystopian world overrun by bio-machines. The blurb states that combat is methodical with the player needing to balance staggering enemies and making them less of a danger against fighting furiously to deplete their health as quickly as possible. It promises an array of weapons and items and around 7 to 12 hours of gameplay and it's selling for a fairly decent price of £8.99 and it also releases on the 22nd. Then there's a big one in Sonic Origins. This collection brings together Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic 3 and & Knuckles and Sonic CD in remastered form with titles being in high resolution and including brand new opening and ending animations. You can also complete various missions to collect coins and use this to unlock new content, challenges and special stages through the museum. And there are both classic and anniversary modes available with the latter updating some of the features of the game itself. I only ever played the first two Sonic games as a kid, I never had a Mega Drive myself and played them in fits and starts around friends and family members houses that did. For this reason I'm definitely intrigued to try the latter two titles and it's going to sell for £32.99 and it releases on the 23rd. Also this week we have Steve Jackson's Sorcery. You play as a lone adventurer charged with reclaiming the stolen crown of kings, armed only with a sword, a spellbook of magic and the power to choose which path to take. There are over 50 spells which can send the narrative off in unpredictable directions and you can select your god from a pantheon of deities all with their own quirks and powers. You'll be battling hundreds of creatures in turn-based combat and spinning your own story with thousands of choices to make. This is based on a series of four choose your own adventure books by Steve Jackson with this one seemingly based on The Crown of Kings which was originally published in 1985. This video game version will cost you £24.99 or your regional equivalent. Another big one now and it is Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hopes. This takes place in the same world as Fire Emblem Free Houses and spins a new tale with those characters using the Warriors series combat. The blurb says that you'll be fusing action and tactics, taking direct control over characters as you mow down hordes of enemies, whilst also giving orders to your allies. It does have a demo on the eShop if you want to try before you buy, but it will release on the 24th for £49.99 or your regional equivalent. What are you staring at? Come on, shady lady. Stop calling me that! You need me? Think you can take on Lester's King of Grapplings? The penultimate game for the week is Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. This is a new instalment in the series whose origins date back to 1986 arcade game Kiki Kai Kai, which spawned a sequel on the Super Nintendo, Pocky and Rocky. It's a scrolling shooter starring Shrine Maiden Pocky and her Tanuki friend Rocky, and this new entry retains the colourful 16-bit style of its predecessors. You can play in single player or co-op and there are three other characters to choose from aside from Pocky and Rocky. 
There will be a standard release as well as a collector's edition limited to 2000 copies with a host of collectible bits inside. The digital version is out on the 24th and it will cost you £26.99. And finally, for an absolutely stacked week, is the Capcom Fighting Collection. This brings together 10 of Capcom's most popular arcade games in one package, being Dark Stalkers, Night Warriors, Vampire Savior, Vampire Hunter 2 and Vampire Savior 2, both of which are Japanese-only versions for every other game you get the Japanese and the English version, Hyper Street Fighter 2, Super Gem Fighter Minimix, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, Cyberbots and Red Earth. The games include ranked online matches or casual matches with friends, plus an archive feature with more than 500 illustrations, concept art and over 400 music tracks. I do like these compilations from Capcom I must say. I imported the physical version of the beat'em up bundle from Japan or Belt Action bundle as it was known there and also have the Street Fighter Anniversary collection and I'll no doubt add this one to that collection as well. If you are going digital, it will cost you £32.98 or your regional equivalent. So there you have it, a big week of releases on the Nintendo Switch. There's quite a lot to choose from there. Which of those games interest you? Do let us know in the comments section below. Another big thank you to Paradox Interactive. Please do check out their games this week, the Shadowrun Trilogy. They look absolutely fantastic. I was a big fan of the Shadowrun game on the Super Nintendo as a kid. It was one of my favourite games, so I'm very much looking forward to trying these ones out. Don't forget, if you are looking for eShop credit, you can buy your eShop cards off of our website, switchup.gg, and we do currently have 10% off of those prices if you use the code SWITCHUP. Talking of codes that will save you a bit of money, there's also a link to Play Asia down there in the top in comment. If you use the link and then use the discount code stated down there, you can save yourself 5% off of an order. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.